Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question, what is Agile software development? Agile development is a huge topic. We will not cover all aspects of it in this video. We'll familiarize ourselves with the definition, manifesto, and principles. Let's begin. As we begin with an explanation given by ISTQB, the link to the ISTQB website will be provided in the materials for the video. As usual, the definition is complex, but it emphasizes on iterative incremental development and self-organizing cross-functional teams. Let's check what development methodologies the word Agile is associated with. When we talk about Agile development, there is a certain misunderstanding. Someone says that there are no Agile development methodologies, someone says that there are, and someone calls them frameworks. We won't go into these details because in practice people ignore these nuances. 9 out of 10 people believe that Agile is Scrum. This is definitely the most popular development methodology with Agile. A smaller number of people worked in XP, and very often people say that they work in the Kanban methodology adopting Agile principles. Such is the reality, even if it does not correspond to the theory. We have separate videos for each framework methodology. Therefore, we'll not dwell on the nuances on the specifics of each of them. In this video, we'll consider what Agile methodologies have in common. So, let's start with the team. A small self-organizing, cross-functional, ideally comprising 3 to 9 members. These words, self-organized and cross-functional, bring a lot of confusion. Self-organizing means the teams have the ability to figure out how they are going to approach things on their own. Cross-functional teams don't have to have specific roles involved so much as that when you get the team together, you make sure that you have all the right skill sets on the team. That's what this theory says, but since these all are frameworks, each team decides for itself how to work. Some teams have a manager, while others don't. Some teams decide that having specific roles in the team like a developer, designer, tester, or a business analyst is more beneficial and works in this way. In theory, if there is a developer in the team who has the skills of a designer, he can do both things. In practice, it is very difficult to implement, especially when you have deadlines and work must be efficiently organized. Let's move on to the next concept. The second common thing across Agile methodologies is iterative and incremental development. We have a separate video on these terms so that we won't dwell on the details. The main idea is that each iteration results in the release of increment and delivers a portion of the functionality to the end users. Let's move to the next concept. The user story. This is an example of documentation on Agile projects a form of lightweight use cases to define the functionality rather than highly detailed requirement specifications. Very often people forget that they should include acceptance criteria. As a result, instead of having lightweight documentation, there is a lack of it. Let's move on to the next concept. The daily meeting, often called daily stand-up or daily scrum. Usually scrum's three questions are used to structure discussion. All team members answer these questions. What have you completed since the last meeting? What do you plan to complete by the next meeting? What is getting in your way? There are more concepts like retrospective meetings, grooming meetings, using personas for testing, the power of three rule. As we said, Agile is a huge subject for one video. And we are not going to discuss all the concepts of it. But there are two more probably the most important things which we need to discuss in this video. Agile Manifesto and 12 principles related to it. Let's start with the Agile Manifesto. Ultimately, Agile is a mindset informed by the Agile Manifesto's values and principles. Those values and principles provide guidance on how to create and respond to change and how to deal with uncertainty. The values are individuals and interactions over processes and tools, 
Working software over comprehensive documentation. Customer collaboration over contract negotiation. Responding to change by following a plan. Each of these values need a separate video, if not a book. We won't dwell on them and will leave a link to the websites with literature on this topic. What helps to better understand these values are 12 principles, which you can also find on this website. When you approach software development in a particular manner, it's generally good to live by these values and principles and use them to help figure out the right things to do given your particular context. And the same as with the values, we won't dwell on them and we'll leave the link attached to the video materials, to the websites with literature on these topics. That's all we wanted to discuss in the scope of Agile development. We'll familiarize ourselves with the definition, key terms and concepts, the most popular methods of frameworks used in projects, and the manifesto and the 12 principles relate to it. And that's our answer to the question. What is Agile software development?